In January, the Business Journal held six roundtable discussions with 5th through 8th graders from six middle schools, East Palestine, Springfield, Camel, Brookfield, Sharpsville and Sharon, as well as students from the Northeast Ohio Impact Academy. The roundtables were held to gain a perspective on how young people view the region as part of the Business Journal's 15-month Brain Gain program, which focuses on building a culture of entrepreneurship and promoting workforce development. The panels were moderated by Business Journal content manager Jeremy Lydic. All the students were selected by the schools. This video has been slightly edited for time, but the subject matter and spirit of the discussion has not been altered. Today we hear from middle school students from East Palestine who discuss their outlook on the community and whether they plan to stay or leave. Brain Gain is sponsored by the Mahoning Valley Manufacturers Coalition, the Moransky Companies, and Sweeney Chevrolet Buick GMC. Let's talk a little bit about school. By a show of hands, who says science is your favorite class? One, two, three. Only three of you? Only three of you like science the most? Okay. How about math? Overwhelming majority. Three, six, nine, twelve. Okay, how about art? Who loves art? One, there's my artist, Emma. I'm gonna be talking to you later. And English. Any English? All right. I was really afraid no one was going to like English as I was an English major. But okay, so a majority of you really like math. Sophia, why do you like math? Why is it your favorite subject? I mean like you're constantly like doing stuff and learning new things. Like what? Yeah. Um, what are you learning now? Like we're doing like the line of fit right now and like you're constantly like learning new things like every day. So. Okay, is it challenging? Mm-hmm. You like that challenge, that constant challenge? Yeah. Uh, have you ever had a situation where you came upon a math problem that was a little too challenging? Yeah, I normally just ask the teacher though. Just ask the teacher? Or like for help, yeah. Okay, how do you work, tell me about your problem solving process. How do you get through it? If you're at home and you got a homework assignment, the teacher's not there, how do you get through it? Mm. I mean, I normally try to like remember what, how the teacher said to do it like in class and like, normally try to remember like how she did it and like mm -hmm. yeah but. okay um, who else wants to tell me a little bit about math someone who doesn't like math who doesn't like math let me see a quick show of hands William you don't like math why don't you like math well like all years leading up to this year like I found it fine like but this year like algebra one it's just challenging. Like you're constantly learning new things, so like you don't have like a chance like like retain them, like actually like learn them. Like you just like get one lesson, the next day another lesson, stuff. So, with that said, what are you are you are doing anything to kind of adapt to that? Yeah, I what? mean, the first uh, nine weeks, they came at me like fast. Like I wasn't ready. So like this nine weeks, like it's. Ease, it's getting easier. It's like maintaining your time. Got you. Um, how many of you have heard of, or by a show of hands, how many of you have heard of STEM? Everybody. What is it about math that inspires you? Why, do, why does it uh, motivate you? Why do you like it? It's challenging. It's challenging? And have you taken any STEM courses or done any work with STEM at all? Yeah. Tell me about it. Sure. Not sure? Cecilia, help her out. What are um, some uh, STEM related things you've been doing? Well, last year we did, like, at the end of the year, we did these rockets that we made, and then we went outside and we had to launch them and see, like, which one went the farthest. Okay. How long did it take you to make the rocket? Around a week, I think. Okay. How far <coughs> did your go? I don't know. It went pretty high. It went pretty high? Yeah. Uh, compared to everyone else, did it go the highest? I'm not sure. I don't remember. So, have you ever done anything like that before? Mm, I don't know. I don't think so. What do you think about it? I like it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It's a little bit different than just your average sitting in a class. Yeah. Reading from a math book or a science mm -hmm. book. Did you work on the rocket project? Yeah, I think it was, was it two years ago. Two years ago? 
Okay. What are you working on this year? Anything? Um, this year in STEM, we built robots and we had to program them to go around mazes. Okay. Is that with those, uh, they're not Lego kits, but they're like a yeah. little robot kit? Okay, got you. Um, so, with that being said, you know, this, this idea of working with your hands, uh, are you guys feel like you're getting enough projects like that? Do you want more like that? Tanner, you look like you want to say something. Um, I think I want more of that because I think it's different than everything else. Like using like a pen to wipe. Sure. What are some STEM projects you've done? How do you work with your um, The last one we did was we built a bridge and we had to fit like a hundred pennies on the bridge. Okay. And how did you do? Um, I did not hold one penny. You didn't hold one penny? What happened? Um, so we built a bridge and it actually got thrown away. So, and we couldn't like restart. The teacher wouldn't let us restart. So we, so like we had to find it in the trash and we found it and then we couldn't, we couldn't do anything with it. So we tried and it fell over immediately whenever we tried to do it. Oh, that's a bummer. Show of hands, like when you're, when we're thinking about these STEM projects, you know, obviously you're doing them in the classroom. How many of you go home and try to do some of this stuff? Alexis, what have you done at home? Um, like, I have a bunch of animals and stuff. So, like, different things that we do in school, I, like, go home and use that with my animals. And then, like, I show um, family about them. Mm -hmm. So what do you do uh, for the animals? That, uh, tell me something you've done for them. Um, like, in school, we did, like, owl pellets. And I, was, like, I went home and told my mom about it. Okay, so what did, did you, uh, have you, have you taken that home at all? Like, what, well, first of all, I don't know what an owl pellet is, you have to look like Um, that. like, it was like a bunch of different bones from like an owl that was like compacted together, and we had to like dissect it and like build something out of those parts. Build something out of the parts mm -hmm. of the owl? That's wild. What did yeah. you build? Um, I forget what we built. Yeah. I think it was a giraffe, actually. A giraffe? Yeah. That's pretty amazing. So. That type of project where you're tearing into this owl pellet and building something, um, how, like look into the crystal ball 10, 15 years from now. Is that type of class maybe getting you to think about a career choice? Um, I don't know. Because like, I like dealing with animals and stuff, but at the same time, I'm like my brothers, and I like to do like welding and mechanic work. Okay, well, that's interesting. So I'm going to jump ahead a little bit then with you. College or the trades once you graduate um, high school? I'm not sure. Not sure. How many of you think you're going to go to college? A lot of you. How about the trades? Maybe one without. Yeah. Why not? Why not the trades? Why not get your hands dirty? You guys all said you like working with your hands with STEM projects. Kennedy. I just feel like I would want more education than what I already had from high school and middle school. Okay. Put that right there. Uh, you don't think you get a lot of education through the trades? Well, I probably would, but I just feel like being at college would help me get into like a better job. Like what? Like being a nurse or a doctor so I could go to school for that or doing really like like be a lawyer or something. Okay. Okay, what about you, Georgia? You had your hand raised. Um, I want to go to college because I want to be a teacher. Okay. Gotcha. Everyone kind of know what you want to be when you graduate? I don't want to say grow up because you're all young adults anyway. So, once you graduate high school, and apparently you all want to go to college, what's it going to be for? Tanner, what do you want to do? Um, I want to be a lawyer. You want to be a lawyer. Riley, what do you want to do? I want to be a teacher. Teacher. We've got two teachers. How are you? I want to be a doctor. Doctor? Aiden, what do you want to be when you grow up? Oh, broke my rule. A doctor also. Doctors. Doctors and teachers. Um, any engineers? The three of them down here. Anthony? What is about engineering that uh, attracts you, inspires you? It's 
like you're more hands-on with it. It's more you got to think about what to do and then you do it. Mm -hmm. And then your things that you engineer and design and help people in the real, wor real world. Gotcha. And are you doing some stuff now in school to kind of help prepare you for that a little bit? You're working on like the STEM projects too? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is it helping you think? Yeah. Yeah? Uh, what are some of the projects that you've done that you really enjoyed? Probably the rocket project and the bridge project we're doing right now. Gotcha. Oh, you're doing the bridge project right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, when you're thinking about building that bridge, are you doing any kind of research? Or what are, what are some of the things you're doing to... We have the research at the beginning to know what type of bridges there are, what's the most the strongest, uh -huh. and stuff like that. Well, that's cool. What do you think about doing that kind of stuff? I think it's fun. Yeah? Think you could do it for the rest of your life? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Gotcha. Emily, you're my artist. Does any of this stuff sound interesting to you at all? Engineering, anything like that? No. Not really? How come? I want to be a veterinarian. A veterinarian? Okay. Well, science is a part of STEM. Are you doing anything right now to kind of pursue veterinary medicine? I have a lot of pets. You have a lot of pets? You don't operate them on. No. Okay, that's good. What is it about being a veterinarian that inspires you? Why do you want to pursue that? Because um, I like animals a lot. Okay. Who else knows what they want to do when they're out of college? Maybe my Heather. I also want to be a veterinarian. Another veterinarian. Alexis, how come you don't want to be a veterinarian? I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'm not like really into like taking care of, like, having to do, like, work on them and stuff. That's fine. Heather, why do you um, want to be there? Because I want to, like, help animals that need help. Okay. You want to work on, like, pets or big animals, like farm animals? Probably more like dogs and cats. Dogs and cats. Okay. So what are you doing to kind of pursue that now, if anything? You take, are there any classes that kind of lend themselves to that dream? No, but I'm trying to get my mom to like look into letting me volunteer at like an animal shelter. That'd be cool. That'd be great. How many of you, by a show of hands again, how many of you are doing things outside of school in the community that sort of lend themselves to you, whatever it is you want to do in life? One, two, five of you? Okay. Um, what about the rest of you? I, I, have any of you thought about, uh, Mara, we haven't heard from you yet. Uh, have you thought about pursuing anything like that outside of school? Not really. Not really? How come? Um, I don't know. I don't really know what I want to do. You don't want to know what you're going to do? Yeah. All right. What interests you? Um, something in the medical field. Medicine? Mm -hmm. Okay, working with people or animals? People. People? How many of you want to do something in life that maybe an adult in your family or friends is already doing? Jordan. She's a teacher? Where does she teach? Here. Oh, she teaches here? Mm-hmm. Okay. So what is it about your mom being a teacher that attracts you and makes you want to be a teacher too? Um, I spend a lot of time here and she can help me with my stuff, which makes me understand it more. So I could technically help other kids when I grow up. So you just like that idea of being able to teach someone something they don't know? Mm-hmm. Okay. Who else has someone in their life that is doing what they want to do? Mackenzie. Uh, my mom works at a hospital, and I want to be a nurse. So. Okay. Is your mom a nurse? No, she's a radiology technician, so she does, like, CAT scans and stuff. Okay. So what is it about nursing that attracts you? I don't really know. I always liked helping people, so I feel like that's part of it. And um, I would always go like to work with my mom, and I just like like the atmosphere and everyone there. So. Okay. Is anything about being a nurse freak out? Um, sometimes, um, like there's like crazy stories that my mom has, and just like crazy patients and stuff, but nothing like too serious. Have you done anything? I know obviously they're not going to let you know. 
with patients or anything, but are you doing anything now to maybe help out at the hospital? No, um, I haven't really like found anything to do to help out, so. When you're thinking about what you're learning here in school, is there anything you're not learning or not being taught that you kind of wish you were? What you got? Like different languages. Different languages? What kind of languages would you like learning? Just like anything to, other than like our language we speak now. Yeah. I got you. Why do you want to learn different languages? Just to know? Yeah, I feel like it'd be cool to know them and like. You want to travel? Yeah, I feel like that'd be cool too. Yeah. You need to learn different languages to travel. Yeah. Who else is uh, not learning something that maybe you kind of like to? Is it Kason? Yeah. Kason, what do you? What would you like to be learning? Like more stuff with programming, like technical stuff. Like working with computers and stuff? Yeah. Okay. Do you do any of that at home? Um, not really. Not really? How come? Um, because I don't really have anything to do it with. Okay. All I have is a Chromebook. Got you. Uh, are there computer classes here that kind of along those lines? Yeah. Yeah? Do you take them? Mm, it's just like the special activity that we all do. I got you. Okay. So what is it about programming that attracts you and inspires you? I want to be like a, a technical leader at NASA. A technical leader at NASA? Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Why, why that? Because I want to like do something and help colonize Mars or something. Help colonize Mars? Or get people to the moon again. I got you. You're tired of Earth already, huh? Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> All right. Um, so how much education do you think you're going to need for something like that? I mean, I want to go to college for it. I think I'm going to have to like stay in there for a while. I don't know exactly how much education I'll need. Okay. Uh, are, you guys, are you looking at colleges yet? Is that even on the radar at all or you're just trying to get through middle school? I mean, like I've kind of been like thinking of looking for one, but I haven't actually went out and looked for one. Okay. How many of you are already thinking about where you wanted to go or what you want to do after high school, like specifically, like the college you want to go to or anything like that? Georgia is, Riley is. Riley, where do you want to go? I want to go to Kent State. Why Kent State? Um, I'm not really sure. Not sure? My mom went there and from what she said, it sounds like a nice place, yeah. so. How about you, Georgia, where do you want to go? YSU. YSU, fellow penguin. Why do you want to go to YSU? Don't really know. Neither did I. Who else knows where they want to go? Anthony. Yeah, YSU. Another YSU. Why do you want to go to YSU? Because I heard they're really good for like engineering. They're really good engineering college. <laughs> they're getting there. They're actually they're pretty good right now. Yeah. Are you possibly thinking about uh, popping out there sometime and see what else they got going on? Mm-hmm. Yeah, possible. Okay. Possible. Good. Who else? I'm go to Ohio State. You want to be a Buckeye? Mm -hmm. Why's that? I mean, I just like the Buckeye thing, but like I like how big it is and like how it's like, like Ohio, like, I don't know, it's just like the biggest college it's big kind school. of, yeah. It's very big. Mm -hmm. it's, it's much bigger than YSU. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is it about the Big Ten school that attracts you? I don't know. I guess because it's more like known, I guess, mm -hmm. popular. What about the academic aspect of it? Have you looked into any of the programs? I want to be a nurse, but I haven't really looked into like what they have to offer. They got really. a pretty strong medical program. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. What influences you? What inspires you? What motivates you to just do the things you want to do, whether it's a hobby or a career path? Uh, Madison, what uh, what inspires you? Who inspires you? I'm not sure. Not sure, Alexis. My two older brothers went to the career center for um, welding, okay. and then my dad also did. And then my mom is a bus driver for Palestine, and so I like like the thing of my parent or like my dad and my two older brothers being welders. So then, like they're able to work on like different things that need fixed and stuff. Have you thought about welding yourself? Mm-hmm. Happy? Yeah. At one of. It's quite a different thing than working with animals. Yeah. Well, I mean, we've got, like, our pens and stuff for our animals are made out of metal and stuff. So, like, we have um, 
a couple pens that have broke on us and we've had to have my brother fix them. Okay. So by knowing that yeah. trade, you can fix those things yourself. Okay, got you. Who else has an, an influence? Addison, I, think we, I don't think we've heard from you yet. Does anyone influence you or inspire you? Any idea what you want to do when you graduate high school? I want to go into the medical field. Medicine again. What do you want to do in medicine? Either dermatology or be a doctor. Okay. What is it about those career paths that interest you? Not Why'd sure. you pick those? Not sure? So let's talk a little bit about the community. So here's another show of hands question. Um, who likes living in East Palestine? Kind of a mixed response. Okay, uh, I'm gonna ask the hard one first. L, you did not raise your hand. Do you not like living in East Palestine? I mean, I like that my family's here, but I want somewhere bigger to You want somewhere bigger? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so what's important to you? Whether we're talking about going to college, or you're working your job and you're just living your life, what's important to you in a community? Mm, just like the people, I don't know. Yeah? You mentioned family. Could you think you could live somewhere apart from your family? Yeah, but I don't want to go too far where like, I can't come back to them if I need them. So maybe like an hour and a half away, two hours away? Yeah. Something like that. So what would East Palestine have to do to get you to stay here? I don't know. You don't know? Do you feel connected to your community? Uh, no, no, I don't know. Who feels connected to their community? No one feels connected to their community. Who could tell me why you don't feel connected to your community? Just jump right in. Kaysen first. Well, I never really go out. I don't really like it here. Okay. So I don't feel connected to the community because I just don't like, like the stuff here. Like I'd rather go out and be somewhere else, like Washington, D.C., because this, it's just like a small like town. And... Washington, D.C. is big and has a lot of activities that I could do. Mm -hmm. And I so just, I'd like it there more than here. You like the big city, you like stuff to do. You don't like the small towns at all? No. Okay. Uh, so do you, ha do you plan to leave? Yeah. What is it about the small town, in either case or Anthony or whoever else, that is kind of a turnoff? It's like not, there's not too much to do with here. You have your, like, you can go out and play, like, basketball or football or backyard stuff. But then it comes to an end where you can't play a lot anymore because you run, you did everything. Okay. So what do you like to do? I like to fish. You like to fish? There's no place to fish in East Palestine? There's one place, but it's City Lake. Not very good to fish at. Not very good to fish at? Mm -hmm. What kind of fishing do you like to do? I would like to get into bass fishing. Okay. Yeah, not a lot of bass fishing in East Palestine. Okay, so is that, like those, like if, if you had to weigh it between amenities, which is having a bass fishing pond or having things to do, versus maybe being able to afford a house or to be near your family, is it more amenities or are we talking family? What's more important to you guys? I say family. Family. So you, you need family and amenities. Mm hmm Okay. If East Palestine heard this interview right now, you know, the East Palestine government, and they wanted to talk to you, um, what would be the best way to communicate with you? How, how would you want to talk with them? What, what would you tell them? I would tell them to kind of clean up, like, City Lake a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Like, actually have it decent. Because people just go there, throw their trash everywhere, leave everything everywhere. They don't pick it up. Okay. So you could see yourself living in a small town if it's just uh, cleaned up a little bit? Mm-hmm. Okay. William? Uh, in this past few years, I have a cultural life. I want to, like in, say like in like New York, there's like so many different like aspects, like so many different... Like, it's like one place, but like you could visit like a thousand other places in it. Mm -hmm. um, what are some of the things you'd like to see? What are some of the things you'd like to do? I don't know. I mean, 
I like East Palestine. Like, I like hanging with my friends. Like, and like, I mean, it's not bad. It just gets old. Like, there's only so much you can do. Okay. Um, Mackenzie, how about you? Um, I do like the small, like, area and just pretty much knowing everybody. And um, I don't know if I would really want to live in, like, a big, a really big place. But it does get kind of old. There's not very many things to do here other than, like, be with my friends, with I, which I like to do. But... What is it about the big place that turns you off? I feel it just gets very crowded and can be like a little too much, I feel like, so. I kind of get the sense that things to do is pretty important. What about the actual community itself? So mm, getting to know the people, getting connected with the people, the culture, like William was talking about. Do you guys like the culture of the small town? I like it because you know, like, a lot of people. You know, like, everyone there. You don't, you don't know someone, and then you don't have to worry about, like, getting, like, you don't have to worry about getting hurt as much. It, like, if you lived in a big town or something, there could be a lot more harm that could come your way rather than living in a small town where your parents and everyone knows each other, they know you, you have less chance of getting hurt. Right. Do you agree with that, Casey? I don't really know the community. I don't really talk to anybody. No. But even if I did, there would only be so much people to know. And in like a big city, there's like a bunch of people that you wouldn't know. Like okay. Things that you can't get in the city. Okay. So. Uh, do you th so you want a bigger network of people to mm -hmm. know. You don't like the idea of just having a small, confined little network? I mean, I like the idea of it, but I think it just get boring and repetitive after a while. Gotcha. I'm going to change gears again real quick. Uh, I kind of want to know about some of your role models. Like, who are your heroes? Who are your role models? Who are you kind of fashioning your life after? Who's got a role model? Tanner and Riley, both of you. Um, famous basketball players like LeBron James because I like to play basketball whenever I'm home. Okay. And yeah. I like to play for the school. Have any plans on being a pro basketball player? Mm, I don't think so. I just like to do it like like in my free time. Gotcha. How about you, Riley? Uh, my mom's a big role model. What's that? Um, she started as like just an RN and then she w kept working her way up and now she's like really important to the businesses that she works at. You want to say, Emma, who's your role model? Yeah. Why is your cat your role model? Because uh, he never gives up. If he wants the door open, he'll open it. That's a good way of looking at it. Do you apply that to that, that never give up, never say die attitude? Do you apply that to school and 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 in life? Yes. Who else has some role models? Anthony. My dad. Why is that? He's a really good worker and takes pride in his work and does a lot of good things. Okay. Very good. What's, what's something really important? Casey, okay, you got your hand up. Um, something really important to me is the band. Bands, just like playing in the, the band? Yeah, playing in the band, the EP band. Okay. I really like everyone in it. Um, I've like helped with the marching band before I've gone into the band. I like go to the games and I help set them all up. Gotcha. But just like they have a really good work ethic and that's kind of what I follow. What is about the work ethic that really strikes you? I mean, even if like we're losing at the football game, they'll just like try and like make it like bright. They'll try and make everything brighter and they'll like play little songs every time they score something, which I really like. Gotcha. Do you have any interest in playing music? Um, I mean, I'll play band until high school and maybe in college, but I won't really pursue that after. Yeah, I was in band. Mm -hmm. I played saxophone. Me too. All through high, you, you too? Mm-hmm. Alto? Yeah. Good man. All right, so 
that kind of work ethic, because I know it, it takes a lot of work to be able to play a musical instrument. Who else here plays a mu musical instrument? Quite a few, okay. Practicing every day? Maybe. Um, the amount of work that goes into playing a musical instrument, do you carry that into other aspects, whether it's school or maybe later on with a career? You think that's going to help you out later on? Who else raised it? Sophie, did you raise your hand? Who you raised your hand over here? Who plays a musical instrument over here? Mackenzie. Do you have that kind of work that goes into playing? First of all, what do you play? Clarinet. Clarinet, okay. And how often do you practice? Um, I really only play at school most of the time unless there's like solo and ensemble. Uh -huh. Do you so. apply that? Do you think it helps you at all in, in academics? Um, it can show to like don't give up because there's a lot of like hard music and some notes that you just can't get right but you just have to keep practicing and that's how a lot of things are is you can't get it but you just have to keep doing it and keep trying until you eventually get it. What are some other study habits you guys had? And Kaysen likes to apply some of the stuff he gets from playing saxophone. How often do you guys study and, and read at home? In ELA we have homework that we have to read 60 minutes each week, so I have, I get, I have to read 60 minutes each week. 60 minutes each week. You guys all doing that sort of same thing? Mm -hmm. How often do you guys read at home? Just pick up a book and read. A couple of you. Heather, how often do you read? Um, I like to read in like my free time at yeah. home. Okay. Mm -hmm. Same with you, Emma? Yeah. Um, what are some of the, like, how, how does that help you out? Does it help you out? Let me ask you that, like when it comes to academics. Anthony, what's up? Like when it comes to academics reading at home, it like takes your brain off of like electronics and stuff like that. So you can be a little bit more focused on school. And then if you read, you might be like, oh, I might, you might remember something that's due like in a day or two. Mm -hmm. So it could help you bring your grades up and stuff. What do you like to read? Mainly like Harry Potter or like Percy Jackson. Okay. How many books are you going through a week, a month? Barely any anymore. I barely read. But I used to read like every day, like a book a day. Okay. Um, Jason? I don't really read at all. I don't think it helps. You don't think reading helps at all? Why is that? I just don't think it'd be a good way to waste my time. So what do you do to not waste your time at home? Um, usually I'll like play on my phone or something or I'll go outside and I'll like train my dog to do stuff. What but do you train your dog to do? Like jump or like go down like a hill and then come back up. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think reading helps with anything other than getting good grades in ELA. You don't think getting good grades is a good thing? No, I think getting good grades is a good thing, but I don't think reading would really help with that in ELA since we already do read in that. Gotcha. You. You'd like to respond to that? I also feel like if you read at home and you get into your book that you're reading, a lot more time will pass. And then like, if you want to get like a good sleep schedule so you're not tired at school, so you don't like get bad grades or miss like just make stupid mistakes on your like your assignments then reading could help you on that because you could get distracted and then you will feel tired after you finish reading so you'd end up going to bed and then you'll wake up full of energy to go through the day and do some work. Gotcha. Jason, do you think you have enough energy throughout the day? Not reading? Like barely getting by, I guess. Barely getting by? Yeah. How hard is life at East, at East Palestine? I mean, I don't really like East Palestine. <laughs> Man, you got it rough. All right. I, I like the school. I like the activities in the school. I just don't like East Palestine itself. I got you. Okay. Well, you've established that. Mm -hmm. You've established that. And there's nothing East Palestine can do to get you to like it. Not really. Not really. All right. Well, his mind's made up. Um, what's something that maybe I'm not thinking to ask? Enlighten me. Georgia, let me move the microphone real quick. 
What do you got? I like to play soccer. You like to play soccer. How many of you guys play sports? A lot of you. Georgia, why soccer? I don't know. I feel like I would get better foot control with soccer. Uh-huh. What do you guys like about, like, I presume you play on a team? Yeah. You it's like rotary. What's that? It's East Palestine Rotary Soccer. Rotary Soccer. Yeah. Okay. Do you like your teammates? Mm hmm Okay. Now, what do you guys think about playing on a team? Do you, do you like the idea of teamwork? Boy, what's up? Um, I just think sports in general make you have like a better worth that ethic. What is that? I don't know, because if like you're putting hard work in, like if you're really into something and you really want to pursue it, like you have to put in the work to like be good at what you're doing. Kason? <laughs> I like to do stuff independently because usually whenever I'm in a team, if I like work really hard for it and like the stuff that we're trying to do, mm -hmm. sometimes the team members just like let me do everything. Sometimes they don't help. So I like to do stuff independently. Like whenever we're choosing to read, uh, like as a group, I'll do it independently. Okay. So you don't have to carry everyone on your back. And so nobody has to hear my complaining about reading because I don't like the books we read in ELA. The stuff's boring. Like Percy Jackson, I've already read that before like 20 times. 20 times? Yeah. My brother made me read it. He That's really liked incredible. it. Now, when you're, in your working for NASA, you know, when you're living in D.C. and you're working for NASA, you're probably going to have to work with the team. You're going to be all right yeah. with that? Yeah. I mean, if it's like at NASA, I'm just talking about like reading in ELA with classmates. I don't, I don't like reading or going in a group with classmates. Okay. All right. Whether it's going out for sports or just anything, uh, everything that we've talked about today, are you guys talking about it at all with your classmates, your schoolmates? Is this topic of conversation? Show of hands. Topic of conversation? Sometimes? More with the older kids, it seems. Uh, so when you guys are talking about this, I'm going to move it over here. Maybe Claire can enlighten me or Addison. Can I talk about like what we're going to do with our lives, like where we're going to go in the future? Yeah. Like what schools we're going to go to? <coughs> and uh, what's everyone talking? Is everyone saying something different? Is everyone going to college just like you guys? I think yeah. Yeah. Who's different? Yeah. Okay. A show of hands, has anyone thought about the trades? Or maybe military? Or maybe pro sports? Anything like that? All college bound. Okay. Anything you kind of, uh, maybe? If not college, what? Maybe trying to go out for like the NFL or something like that. Okay. What position? Uh, tackle. Gotcha. Okay. Well, I'll keep my eyes open. What struggles are you facing in school? And I'm going to start with Kennedy. Um, probably a struggle that I'm facing in school is trying to keep up with some of my classmates. Like, sometimes they can go a lot quicker, and that makes me feel like I should be going quicker. But sometimes I just have to remember to stay calm and go slow, as slow as I need to. Where, uh, in what aspect do you think you're struggling the most? Probably in science or social studies. Science or social studies, okay. And how do you adapt to that? Most of the times I ask my teachers a lot of questions and I try just to stay calm and work hard. Is working out? Good, making good grades? Good. Aiden, how about you? What are you struggling, if anything? No struggle with much at all? Yeah. Just comes naturally? Yeah. Very good. How hard do you got to work to maintain these straight A's? Pretty hard. Good. Very good. Cecilia, anything you're struggling with? We have a lot of homework and we have to do, we have sports and stuff also, mm -hmm. so there's just a lot to do. You think you're doing too much? No, well, no, I don't think so. You don't think so? No. Okay. Is the homework helping you out? Do you think, like, how much homework are you doing on a nightly basis? Like, 
like two papers or one or two papers. I one don't or know. two papers? Yeah. Does that help you out with your classes? Do you think are you getting anything out of it? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Um, Heather and Alexis, how about you two? Um, what are you struggling with? Not much, but probably keeping up with the homework. You think it's too much? No, it's just sometimes the problems that we have to do are take a lot of steps and it's very time consuming. Okay, gotcha. You don't think it's gonna get any easier though? Mm. It's not. It kind of helps me remember like the formulas in math. So then once I remember that, it gets easier to do the homework. Okay. Who else struggles with their homework? Show of hands. Anthony? William, why are you struggling with your homework? <laughs> Overload of homework. Like, too many things. Like, too many activities. Okay. But for the most part, you think the homework's okay? <coughs> so what, 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 are, what are some other things maybe you're struggling with? How about the older guys? What are you thinking about? What's, uh, what are you guys struggling with? Anything? Mara, what are you struggling with? Remembering everything from math. Remembering everything from math? You don't like math either? It's okay. It's okay. What, uh, what do you have a difficult time remembering from that? All the formulas. Yeah? Okay. Are you doing anything, getting a tutor or anything like that? No. no? Talking to your classmates about it at all? Yeah. Okay. That's good. That's, that's something. You can find more content from our student panels and our Brain Gain program under the Brain Gain tab at businessjournaldaily.com.